Oh, G Herbo say he's one of the best rappers alive. Cap. You feel like that's Cap? Huge. 10 gallon bucket cap. Herbo's got his spot, but he's like, he's not a great to me. He's not a legend to me. I don't feel like he's going to have like a huge, long living career after he's gone. I just don't see it. I don't know, though. I definitely feel like he a goat, dog, just because his movement and with the drill shit. But what y'all think? I feel like he good. Not the great. I mean, that's that'd be like some PR shit. Like, Somebody to know that they're not and just say it just to get people like so us talking, talking about, about it. it. But he cool. It, it ain't you know he's not no bad rapper. No, I don't listen to him. But let me ask y'all then: Who do y'all think is the greatest rapper alive? Alive? Yeah. I'm a big Drake fan, so I, I had to say like uh, one of the greatest rappers alive, in my opinion, is Don Trip. He real slept on Starlito. I don't know who that is, know who that is either. Niggas be talking crazy. They from Memphis. They from Memphis. I ain't hip. Yeah, yeah. not hip either. Yeah, I feel like up. for somebody to be the greatest rapper alive, like we all gotta know who they is. Like, right. but it, it depends. on Is it your greatest rapper or like it depends on like right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what I'm judging them on. Like, they, they, they say yeah, they say the most that I can relate to. You feel me? But G Herbo is re- responsible for Ari though. So it's like that's an interesting argument. So it's like shit. Like you know, I don't understand how to. F- I mean, how do Rappers, baby mamas become like celebrity. Like, how is that a thing? Like, how is that a like that's the thing that we idolize today? Like, because people be so intrigued about them, they just get to following them, and it's crazy. Like, if I just blow up tomorrow, like my baby mamas that nobody know about right now is just gonna they're gonna be lit. I don't want they that. Gonna be lit. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, y'all want to lit on your hands? Some of them don't. Some of them don't. Though I think with Ari, she kind of she not on she's. Was first his baby mama, but I feel like she stepped out and became her, you know, her own thing. She became an influencer. She became yeah, but the ma- reason she's a fucking million, a millionaire now. But like, the reason for her, her influence yeah. started because was she G was Herbo. G Herbo, baby. Yeah. So G Herbo, a goat, just off that for sure. So, Herbo. Now, so you gotta be a nigga baby mama. You gotta be a rapper baby mama now to be. Damn no, there. Like but I'm saying a, that's if, a stepping stone. If you were, I mean, she was nobody. I mean, I didn't know about her until she I was G Herbo. I'm like, damn, G Herbo got a cold baby mama. Like, you know, know she was either. And now look, like, now G Herbo made it so people knew about her. Nah, no, money he, bag, he yo. made it so other celebrities want to crack her. Like, yeah, so what? That's how they get famous. Like, literally. Yeah. But then, so then it was Javante, Javante Davis, and then money bag. So, look, see, yo. so why is it that like y'all notice how rappers? Pass around the same group of females. Like, do y'all know why? Like, what's the reasoning behind why they all stick within the same group of women? They follow the money. I ain't gonna lie. This, 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 I ain't gonna what's lie. Our theory on it? Some guys be like real. I don't want to use the, the G word. Some guys be real. What word can I use other than that? Um, some guys be real infatuated with other guys so much that they want to have sex behind them. Like literally. Really. Like, Hell yeah, yeah. So I know for you? sure. That sounds crazy. I know as for hell. sure. I don't think that. You know what I think it is, bro? I feel like it's these females that they didn't figure out that these is the females who not gonna go to the go run to the media when y'all break up. That's like, what right, I was thinking. these are safe ones. Like, all right, once we fuck around, they ain't about to just tell everybody. So now nah, I, I know thinking. I could tap in because they ain't do that with the last motherfucker. Right. So, but you, so you know that for sure that niggas, I mean, men, niggas wanna have sex behind other. Niggas just because they had sex with that nigga. That thought yeah. is just making my mind spin. Ain't I can't it? even. Sure. I'm like, what? But it, it happens in the female world too. Like, females turn niggas up, and then they, another female want to come behind just because that's what I'm saying. And we don't mind. We don't mind that. Clearly, mm-hmm. I don't. I'm trying to think of a like a, a celebrity female that turned a, a regular guy up. Like, who? When the last time that? Nikki, with Nikki. her husband. I, I still don't. I don't Nikki know who he is. Nikki is Safari. Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. Hey, Safari live forever off of being Nicki X. For sure. And then her new husband. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is. Shit, yeah. shit. Cash Doll and the one and the one dude. I ain't know who he is. Sure, right? But he's known in Atlanta though, right? Is he? Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. Uh, I didn't know. I name. know nah. I know his name. Tracy something. So I just said Cash Doll, baby daddy. Me too. Yeah, but she, you feel me? I do notice that females, like female celebrities and female rappers, it, I don't know if it be because, you know, they got so much they own money that they don't really care to date a dude, you know, with as much as them or more than them. It seems like, you know. What I do notice is, like, as celebrities, like, fans 
idolize a relationship more than you just if you're not future outside of future like they like relationships opposed to just messing with a bunch of girls like they that be hyping up a bunch of people up okay. that's for sure i agree how y'all how y'all feel about uh y- y'all seen the shit that y'all seen the shit that went on with with uh bow wow and um brandon t jackson brandon t jackson, brandon t. jackson. The, the other dude that was in lottery ticket the one that was his friend yeah yeah, yeah. what yeah. happened with them yeah what's up so he said that um bow wow was doing like answering questions on twitter and he's they asked him like look he asked him about uh lottery ticket too about lottery ticket too. Asked him about lottery ticket too, and he was like, um, uh, "Will you be working with Brandon T. Jackson?" He's like, "Well, it won't be one because I can't work with him. The whole industry think he's weird because he didn't turn too spiritual." You feel me? So then Brandon T. Jackson returned, turned into uh, uh, he was trying, he responded to it on stage like Bow Wow said, the "Industry won't, won't uh, mess with me because now I like God." Yeah, you feel me? Now you won't rock with me, but I was a person who uh, who went and knocked somebody out when I when he said he said Bow Wow sent him to go knock out the person who took a picture that did the Bow Wow challenge of him. He did it for him. He said he was the person who Bow Wow uh, went to go cry to when uh, Fifty Cent took Sierra from him. Yeah, you feel me? So I didn't see that. I ain't even I ain't even know the nigga we was. Yeah, I ain't seen none of that. It's all news to me. But it's hard for me to really like. I don't know like they personal friendships, so it's hard for me to say like who wrong. From from, from from what he's saying, he said they ain't even had no friendship. And Bow Wow said it was just a, a on screen friendship. Just working relationships. Why is that even news? That you know what I mean? do, do y'all think people being too spiritual is a problem in the industry? Uh, I mean, be. look at look at uh, what's the name? Um, um, in that lead chop. Do you think he really got a, a herb to? Probably macaroon. Yeah, he seen what is that? Word. It's like a, a root that grow on the ground that they that they selling now, saying that it's supposed to enlarge your breast to your butt. Nice. Look at that. Interesting. I don't know. And girls yeah. really buying this shit. Did you order? You ordered your root yet? Yeah. I don't need it, but uh, I don't know if it works or not. I don't really need no more no more booty. <laughs> I know that's right. Y'all see, y'all see 50 Cent just said that um, he about to lead Star. He 50 always stirring up some shit. Mm-hmm. Like, well, well, y'all, y'all been watching Tommy and shit, Ghost and all that? Yeah, I've been watching that Euphoria. I've been watching um, Euphoria. I don't see, I'm glad that you said that. I'm, I've never heard of like a, uh, I don't want to call you like a hood, dude. You know, somebody from the city watching you saying they like it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I like to do, do stuff that other people not doing. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't fucking. I, ain't, I mean, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet, and I don't really feel like the need to watch it. Like, I feel like it's the same stuff that happened in our high school. For real? True. I like it. I'm the boring one today. I don't even watch TV. <laughs> Ozark. Good one. Yeah. I like Tommy too. Everybody be talking about Ozark. It's too slow for me, man. I tried to watch the first episode. I couldn't. You gotta go past the first episode. Like once they get into the best one. Yeah, they jump right into they it. They jumped right into it. Y'all seen the forty four hundred? What's that? Nah, I see that? That's on Netflix. That's fire. I ain't hit that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah. Like some new series. I ain't hit that. I've been watching Tommy. I'm trying to, you know, get, you know, trying to get into the characters and all of that. It's, it's taking a while. I think it's because I'm not used to, you know, the new, the new faces and stuff like that. I just finished the original Power. The so, original. Yeah, like the first one. Crazy. So now nah, I just started Tariq. I just finished the first season of Tariq. Ghost. Ghost. Yeah, that shit is fire. Oh yeah, you behind. Yeah. Fifty but, took over stars for sure. Yeah, cause Bronx, man. 2014 when Power came out, that's like around the, around the time when I started uh, the hip hop lab, bro. He I wasn't about to pay for no stars and be watching that. He a genius. <laughs> so. He literally took one thing and turned it into five things. Like, yeah. I I compare it to. Selling drugs, like he took a bow and broke it down, yeah. selling it all nicks. Like I think Fifty was the one that said, like you know, the business side of things is kind of like it's just like drugs. it, it's just like it. So. everything you can think of, you can compare it to that in a way. Who y'all feel like the funniest Detroit comedian is? Jack Funny 
313 really has my attention right now. He doesn't, Detroit. He doesn't have any message. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, he's so um, funny. Dog funny as hell. I feel like I have to either go with Ha Ha Davis or Fanboy AJ. It's like a, it's a neck, neck and neck thing for me. Man, are you hip to the Jack? The Jack dude who he's talking about? Yeah, I'm about? hip. I, I follow him on TikTok and Instagram. I'm hip to be talking in the comments and stuff. I'm he coming. He, he come. He coming. He was the, the dude who was uh, talking about this scammer, like how Detroit yeah, scammers be. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen that. Now that shit is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the dead. guy. I think he Two funny. It just be like hit miss. Still green. <laughs> I seen the one that did. Who's the one that do keep it one hundred Wednesdays? He funny. That's fanboy AJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he funny. yeah, yeah. Fanboy AJ funny for sure. I be cracking up at his stuff. Like um. I feel like I feel like once you once you like once you take like the the city stuff and put it into it, that's what make it like so much more fun, like relatable, it's so relatable. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. We a different city, I take it. Like, mm-hmm. it, like Ain't nobody like us. 